carry this four shot lead into the final round. Going with Rewood here off the first hole. And he likes it already. He's already gone after the tee. Might see a lot of fairways hit by Jim Furyk today. Got to be aggressive with this short this shot here, Billy Ray's got to carry almost to the hole or is going to spin back down that slope. Hey, there's not too many times that you'll be able to take dead aim at a flag here. The wind is going to be an issue as well today. It's picked up today. Carries it up hole high. That's a pretty good lead for Jimmy right there. Yeah, he did not. Oh, that slowed up really quick on him. I thought he hit it plenty firm. Pressure. Ames not taking advantage of the first. Now Furick. Surprised yesterday at the length we saw from Furick on the par 516 yesterday where he hit it in two and had a reasonable birdie putt. I mean, eagle putt, and that nestles down. Furick misses the fairway at the reachable par 5 second. Well, the main thing he's got to do is put this in the fairway. He can't compound one mistake with another. Well, he's chosen enough loft to try to cut through it. And he did. So he misses the fairway on the layup as well. Two putt and run to that third tee. My doubt this is out to the right. It's kind of thin out to the right. Might catch the right portion of the green, but over the green there to the right hand side and nestles down. It's set way down in that grass. The trouble, Billy Ray, what's this lie look like? Yeah, it's nasty coming off the down slope here. He was wonderful yesterday with these shots getting it down here. This ball's going to work back down the hill. That was a pretty big swing to still come up short, Billy Ray. So that that ball was all the way down to the bottom. Par and keep the momentum. Maybe a little wide. Would have been a great statement right there. But as it is, he bogeys a hole that most guys are standing on the tee thinking birdie. Yeah, if you want to get risky here, you can hit it at the flag, take one extra club, and try to hold it against the breeze. But I would expect this one to be out toward the center of the green. And this is overcooked up the left. Also, two in that bunker left. Steve Flesch was just in there and failed to get up and in. Jim Furyk now buried lie, face of the bunker going away from him. Yeah, the ball well below his feet too, but just to get it out, he does not come out. And lucky they break that part of the bunker right there. That's exactly where Stephen Ames was exiting the bunker, so. He played a club with a lot of bounce. I would have gone sharper, leading edge, to dig underneath it. And he didn't take much time to play that, that third shot. I was very surprised, John. I thought he would take some time and regroup before he played that third, but not very quickly. Looks like Stephen Ames is trying to regroup as well. Uh, the, the players that were even or maybe one under par get to three. You get set some sort of a number. Jim Furyk now for bogey. And, and that's, that's not, not in. It's not dead yet. On that board. Jim Furyk now for double. Well, you don't see that very often in a, in a yeah, that, you know, very unlucky to, for both Furyk and Ames with those tee shots. This is a low bullet up the left-hand side. Should stay in the fairway. Not a great angle with that whole location position in the back left today. Make some quality swings. Posing. A little safe out to the right, but it is whole high. Back over to the right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm amazed. Should have moved to the back of the green. And Jim Furyk thinking just the same thing, Lanning. Great try, good pace. He needed a no stress hole. Yeah, that's one way to do it, too. And if not, just try to hold it up against that breeze and hit a little hold shot back in. Trying to fit it in that right hand side. This ball out to the right. Should be enough to carry the bunker. No, right into the face of bunker. 
Not another face of the bunker. Billy Ray, Billy Ray, a little bit better live for Jim Furyk in this bunker. I would say the ball sitting on the upslope here, plenty of green to work with. Taking a port and up and in for Jim Furyk right this. now. I looked at it. A little greedy with that tee shot, but it was just a couple of yards from being absolutely perfect. Catching the speed slot now, Furyk. Bombs away here. This is up the left hand side. He didn't like that at all, Billy Ray. That's got to be pretty far left, I would think. Yeah, the way catches he's the fairway there, then goes all the way through into the Bring primary up, cut of rough. Jim Furyk forced to lay up at six. Yeah, that was a terrible lie just to get it back in play. Had to lay up. That comes up well short of the penalty area. That was just a pitching wedge. You could only advance that ball down the hill just over 100 yards. He's got 141 yards, but he did a fantastic job of laying the ball up on the right hand side of the fairway so he's looking right down the flag stick to that back left hill location taking a direct line at it here and and there by Furyk. yeah that's just the shot he needed right now i mean he needs to do something back to six Furyk's birdie and his first birdie of the day that gets him a six under two over on his round Set a clutch birdie back at the par five six. Trying to nestle down there. Got a back play. He was holding his breath back at the tee. Just cleared that bunker on the left hand side. That'll go back up that little slope, then back down. And the last three quarters of the putt are going to come back downhill. There it goes back down the hill. Yeah, it's carrying some speed. Back to seven. Jim Furyk for par. Confident stroke. Is back up the hill. In a tight hole location over that right hand side against that bunker. Looks like that's going towards the left bunker, which is fine. That's a good shot there by Furyk. And you're talking about that left bunker. Players use it, the left bunker up by the green. That's a great chance for him, I think, Billy Ray, just to go straight at this thing. Fantastic chance landing the ball just below his feet here. Fight. Fight. Might be tugged. Oh, Come that's back going, down that slope here. That's going to be fine. Oh, that's, that's really quick. <laughs> and it's going to do some moving, too. Tough putt. It's short, but it's a tough putt. That's when it picks up its speed. And it quits breaking. We saw it from Goosen. It ended up his hung to the right. Furyk hit his softer and it turned. Pretty good try. Just couldn't be very bold with that, Billy Ray. Got less than driver, Billy Ray. Yeah, he's made some interesting plays off the tee, but he can actually unload on this three wood. You know you're not. Not going to get much yeah, roll yeah, as this tee yeah, shot will land back up on the slope. And that's well back. Now we're facing long uphill second. Yeah, trying to bring this in from the right. It'll work a little bit to the left, but not a whole lot. And that'll be back down the hill. That's difficult two putts. Section of the green green. Job well done. Now it starts to take that left-hand turn. Leaves it above the hole. That mm. is four feet, and that is not much fun right there. Here's Jim Furyk live. All right, he makes his buddy. He'll take a three-shot lead into the... Final nine holes started with a four shot lead. Has to feel pretty good about his position right now, John. Today he's going with driver, getting a little bit more aggressive, and that looks like a pretty good line right there. A lower ball flight, and what you called for yesterday with some soft conditions. That was a bullet there from Furick. I like hey, This is really good looking. Could catch that right front landing. Oh, it did. That's excellent. It's one of the few shots wow. we've seen up on this green today. Excellent shot there by Jim Fury. Got to give this one a pretty good hit to get it up there. And he did. And oh. 
That's a good putt. Yep, very good putt. Yeah, the hard thing to do is not push the panic button early on when he made that double bogey. He did not. Dangerous little hole location. Cannot miss it left. Yeah, he is definitely not going to miss this one left. Headed just to the right center of the green. I think that's a smart play, given the conditions, given the situation. I mean, it's exactly what he's got to do. I mean, hitting center of the greens. If one goes in, fine. Tap it in if he wants it. I think that those two shots that he hit at 10 were real good for his mindset and getting him settled down. A nice fairway wood into that 10th and a nice effort right there. Comfortable. I'd agree to birdie 12. This guy does Jim Furyk's tee shot at 12. Yeah, yes, he likes this one down, and he's starting to actually hit these low penetrating ball flights here to keep the ball in the fairway. As you know, Billy, where those low ones don't curve very much. They go right down the middle and just chase and win back in from the left. Cannot miss this right, Billy Wright. Steven Ames drove it in the rough off the tee, and he is laid up here. Smart play there by Furyk. Very, very smart. I'm watching. Long birdie putt for Jim Furyk at 12. Yeah, coming back up the hill, putting that part of the green there. Very smart second shot. Doing exactly what he needs to do. Easy. Starts it out there to the right. Ah. Bringing it back. Shoot. Get out. He left short greenside bunker, though. That's okay. Yeah, Chip leader Jim Furyk at 13. A very interesting play there. It's going to work out for him. Fantastic. Originally had a 60-degree wedge out. Went back and got his 56-degree wedge and flighted it down out of that bunker. Beautiful golf shot at the <laughs> right you. time. Yeah, I think he's still got to keep it inside the hole here. Just gets it started. Beautiful putt. Yeah. Great up and down. John, I got to think, aggressive off the tee there, puts it in the greenside bunker and up, gets it up and down. Sometimes it's a, a matter of where you want to miss it. Maybe you can't get it on the green, but where can I play this ball to let me myself get the best opportunity? Less than driver at 14. Yeah. Get out. Something. And that will hold the fairway up the left-hand side. Yeah, and I would expect this not to be back to the flag. You don't want to put over the green in play. I think Jim would be looking somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 feet short of this flag. It would be ideal. That's what it looked like, and out to the right. A little longer than what he would like. That was from 138, but again, putting back up the hill. A bogey at the par 5 second and a double at the third. He's righted the ship. And from that point on, after that double bogey at the third, he has played textbook. And the pace on his putts has been outstanding. Yeah, it's it's been fun Ray. to watch up to yeah. this point. And now all of a sudden he's got control of that. And, and it's no stress for his fours. He's got this on cruise control right now. Yeah, there's a leaderboard just to the left of the green here. 14. Took a long look at it and knows exactly where he stands. Lights it down, turning right, needs to get up, should carry that bunker maybe. Oh, front wind bunker. got that one, that got into the front bunker. The wind kicked up mid-flight on that ball there. That back to the 15th, and that was Jim Furyk from the front bunker. Yeah, that was a really long bunker shot coming back up the hill. 15. And this is Jim Furyk for par. Really slow coming back up the hill. Stephen Ames did make bogey here at 15. Breaks it's pretty, not going to be enough. Yeah, breaks pretty good left to right, and that's a couple feet. That lead just shrunk to Jim Furyk to tap in for his bogey. Lead shrinks to three. Reachable par five coming up, though. Called it, Lanny. Squeeze your right. that a little bit, but yeah. that ball is back further than the previous two days. Yeah, yeah, 276, no chance for Jim to get here in two. Trying to lay it up to a yardage he's comfortable with for his third. 
and he will find the fairway there. She said he was watching back in the fairway as Goosen made that birdie. Third for Furick at 16. Okay, 100 yards. Trying to use the back slope here. Wow. That's a, that's a pretty good answer right there, Billy Ray. <laughs> I would say, Lanning. Jim Furyk after a masterful third shot into 16. Yeah, this will make the walk the next two holes a little more comfortable. It bounces back from the bogey at 15 with a birdie at 16. And the lead is three. Is out to the right, trying to bring it in. Trying to draw it back. Yeah, just in that intermediate cut. All okay there now. Shouldn't be much of a problem for Jim. Ah. Okay, it's up the left hand side of the green here. Yeah, it, it contains over there. There was no issue of it going over the green, but would like it a little bit closer than that. But let it hit its apex, and once it does, it'll start feeding back down to the hole location. That was at least eight feet now. Turns right, picks up speed. That needs to slow down. Oh. There's still a lot of work left now for Furyk. It's six that feet. Ball got away from him once it turned right. <laughs> Not this week so far for Jim Furyk. Beautiful effort. He will walk up to the 18th tee with a three shot lead. Fairway. Get right. Shoot. Might be a little, right. little left. <laughs> nope. There it is. The primary cut of rough on the left hand side. Still getting a whiskey. <laughs> Ames is just hacking out of the rough on the left hand side, but now. If you're back up the hill, 187. What a view. Oh. Yeah, taking up the right hand side of the green here. Might pitch up on that front section. Pretty well done right there, Billy Ray. He can get putter in his hands. Yeah, this putt from Furyk is a huge swing from right to left. Well, his pace has been outstanding all day. Can he do it one more time? Yes, he can. That's impressive, Billy Ray. Very, very impressive. What a fist pump from Stephen Ames. Furick and friends in the fall in Jacksonville. And there it is. Jim Furick has become the eighth man to win the U.S. Open and the U.S. Senior Open Championship.